My name is Steve. I'm a developer at Axway, and this is the third in a video series of three about setting up an OAuth client authentication token for your front end API proxy authentication. In previous videos, we have set up our Okta server uh, on the third party for our OAuth tokens. We have set up Amplify Central to create an API proxy that is secured with OAuth and an application that has the correct identity profile and access and now we're actually going to put everything together. In order to actually generate a token that I need from uh, my third-party authentication, uh, Okta is going to require two different tools of me. Uh, first I am going to uh, require Postman so that I can generate a post call to Okta's endpoint and secondly I need a base64 encoder uh, I just simply googled one this is the first that came up uh, and it will generate a, a base64 value for me uh, with that in mind here is what I'm going to need in order to actually generate the token uh, if we go into API proxies I can find the actual proxy that I had previously set up um, and I know that in the test methods it is requiring me to have a token. Here's how I generate it. I'm going to go to the Okta uh, or your third party application service and I see here that I have a client ID and a client secret. Uh, I'm going to need both of these values uh, so I'm going to first copy my client ID and put it into my base64 encoder and then I'm going to add a colon character and then I'm going to go back, copy my client secret, and paste that. So what this is, this is the client ID, and then a colon, and the client secret, uh, with no spaces, of course. So just simply the client ID, colon, client secret. Uh, I am going to encode that. It gives me my value down here, and I'll copy that. And then I'm going to go into Postman and set up a couple of um, headers for myself. So uh, headers, you have uh, three general headers, uh, and accept application JSON is pretty standard, cache control, no cache is pretty standard, content type, we're going to use a uh, www form UL encoded value as our content type. Then you have an authorization header. Uh, it's going to be a basic authorization, uh, and it's going to ask you for uh, this extra value down here. So I'm going to type in basic and then paste in that base64 value that I had just generated. Um, I only need one form in the body. Uh, remember we're using the form URL encoded uh, and I'm asking for a grant underscore type of client underscore credentials. This is going to be a post request uh, and where the post request is going I'm going to go back here to Okta and find my API server that I was using. So this is my video test demo server. This is where tokens get issued from, so I'm going to copy my issuer and plug that into Postman here where it goes. So my issuer slash v1 slash token. So post request to your issuer slash v1 slash token with these headers in this body. Uh, and go ahead and generate that request and it comes back with a response that includes an access token this access token is what I want so I'm going to copy the entire thing just as a caution I, it's a string I'm not including the quotes or the comma after the value I just want what the actual access token is I have copied that I'm going to come back here into Amplify Central with my proxy uh, I am using my OAuth profile. I will paste the, choke, the token from uh, um, my postman call and execute this call and I get a 200 response with all of the information that I expect. Uh, worth noting is if I remove some characters and pass it an invalid token it will give me a, a forbidden response. If I do not give it a token it will give me a forbidden response if I give it its correct token it will give me a 200 response uh, and then conveniently it also gives me a curl command I can actually take this entire value copy all of it open up a terminal uh, simply paste in the curl command and it will also give me back my data with the response 
Uh, this is an example specifically for Okta. Your third party authorization may generate a token a little differently, but however it is that it sets it up, uh, just make sure that you're putting in the correct token. Thank you for watching.